Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Before I get into this video, let me just say that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion, all right? So let's get into it because we're talking about it. We talking about this Miss Piggy looking miserable, hating ass bitch, okay? Simone Redwine. She is miserable, y'all. Bitches like her make me sick because they are very insecure. And their insecurities cause them to be hateful, evil ass bitches to other women, especially other black successful women. Okay? This wacko had the nerve to get on her live and ask Mel why would she go looking to start drama when it was her slow ass who hopped up under Mel's picture leaving an unnecessary comment about Mel using the word doctor in front of her name. Now, for those of you who have been out of the loop, let me just bring y'all up to speed, okay? So, Mel received an honorary doctorate degree over the weekend. And an honorary doctorate degree isn't the same as a PhD. However, if given one, it means that you are being recognized as a person of high honor, okay? Black bitches, and I hate to say it, but black bitches like Simone can't stand to see other black women be successful because they feel that there are no other black women out there that works as hard as they do. So they put them down to make themselves feel better. Okay? Simone may have commented up on the male's picture. But the issue is not just with male. But it's with every successful black woman. I heard that Simone, you know, always makes, you know, hateful comments towards other women. She came for male this particular time because she found out that her fiance was in Mel's DMs, which made her even more secure because she probably asked herself, well, why does Melody, no, not why does Melody, what does Melody have that I don't have? I'm an attorney. I'm this, I'm that. So why does my fiance feel the need to creep into another woman's DMs? So now she's mad and want to say hating ass shit about a woman that she don't even know because she mad. Her nigga was in Mel's DMs. So let's talk about where it started. Another website had posted um, about Mel receiving her, you know, the honorary doctorate degree. I believe they reposted her reel. Simone got her ass up under Mel's picture, okay? And going to say, she was like, I'm going to start calling myself a doctor since everyone else is. And I actually studied to earn mine. Dr. Redwine from now on. And it's like... First of all, bitch, your name is stupid. Let's just start there, okay? And if you want folks to call you doctor from now on, make sure that you add miserable to that shit, okay? Miserable ass Dr. Simone Redwine. It sounds like your curly Sue head ass was drinking some red wine before you made that motherfucking post. You know what I'm saying? Because how you not know that your ass was going to get you the fuck up? Just like your feelings when you found out that your long-haired ass fiancé was in Mel's DMs, okay? People are entitled to feel however they want to feel, y'all, okay? If she felt like Mel didn't deserve to have the word doctor in front of her name, she's entitled to feel that way. But that's some shit she could have kept to herself. She thinks because she posted her comment on a third-party site rather than on Mel's personal page that she didn't do anything wrong. So I'm here to let her ass know that she was indeed wrong because she initiated the drama when she made the comment up under Mel's picture. I don't give a fuck what site it was on. She knew what the fuck she was doing and that's exactly why her ass about to get dragged across YouTube until Black Friday, okay? That's when everybody gonna take a break to shop and then come back and continue dragging her goofy ass into the new year. And I think she knows that now because I went to try to find her IG page and it said that the link was broken. In my opinion, the whole deactivated her IG page because she knew that folks, you know, was going to keep coming for her ass. She wanted the attention, so now she got it and she can't handle it. Okay? Mel saw the comment that she made and Mel decided to go live to address it. And I guess it was a good thing that she did because no telling how Simone would have tried to spin that shit. And I doubt if Mel was trying to have folks think that she'd be chatting with other people's niggas in the DMs. So she cleared the air because she knew, in my opinion, that, you know, that shit was probably going to come out eventually. And I think she said that that shit was going to hit the uh, YouTube streets anyway. Okay? And she stopped Simone from pushing a fake-ass narrative about, you know what I'm saying, about that. And she was letting it be known that she didn't want her broke-ass Jeffrey Osborne-looking-ass fiancé. Okay? He wasn't even her type. But clearly, he wanted male because he was in her DMs. 
And that hurt Paul Simone's feelings, okay? Mel's bald head, bitter ass, broke ass ex husband done already tried to paint her out to be a hoe who goes around messing with other women's fiancés because he was mad that she packed up and left his sorry ass. So she wasn't about to let Simone run with that narrative, too. I mean, we know it ain't true, but who's to say that Simone wouldn't have pulled a martel and had some folks, you know, thinking that she really get down with other women's fiancés, okay? Simone know damn well her fiancé was in the wrong. So let's get into what Mill had to say on her live, okay? So for one, Mill said that she was wondering who the woman was, as in Simone Redwine, okay? She was wondering who the woman was that was coming for her, and she found out who she was, you know, when she clicked on her profile uh, page, okay? She was from Ready to Love. And she found out that her fiancé was one of the guys that was trying to shoot his shot in her DMs. Simone's ex-fiancé, his name is Rasheed Floyd, okay? He was on the show, too. I don't watch the show, okay? So, you know, but that's where they met, I believe, okay? On the show. That's where they hooked up at. It's the desperation for... A man for me. And that's why Simone is mad. Because she probably feel like it's been hard for her to find and keep a man. And then right when she thinks she found one, she catches him in the DMs of Melody Cherie. So, of course, she don't like Mel. You know what I'm saying? Even if Mel wasn't the one at fault, she sees Mel as another woman who, you know, was able to get the attention of her fiancé. Okay? And Simone must be desperate as fuck because she went out there and hooked up with a broke nigga. They not together now. And I imagine it's because he was caught in Mel's DMs, but it has been said that Simone took to social media to tell everybody how broke he was and how fucked up his credit was. So in order for her to settle for a fucking bum when she's an attorney, she had to be desperate for a man. She got engaged to the nigga. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So... It's just a desperation. So him and Simone probably not together because of that. Because he found, because she probably found him in a male's DMs. Plus, I heard that she canceled their wedding because his broke ass couldn't come up with, the, you know, $17,000 for the wedding. Because he was making $2,800 payments on a fucking Porsche. So, he's one of those broke niggas who like the stunt. No damn well he ain't really got it like that, but don't want the, you know, he don't want other folks to know. If she didn't want his broke ass, what make her think Mel want him? You know what I'm saying? Mel said that he ain't even her type. And plus, she ain't trying to be out here messing with nobody's fucking fiancés. Mel just got rid of one bum ass nigga. I highly doubt if she trying to take on another. You know what I'm saying? Dating broke-ass niggas are a thing of the past unless you a desperate-ass attorney who's willing to settle. Okay? My thing is, y'all, if Simone felt that Mel was undeserving of the doctor title, okay, she didn't have to get up under that post and say that. She wanted folks to know that she had an issue with Mel, and Mel let the folks know why she had an issue with her. Because I feel like Mel could tell that you know, she could tell that Simone was in her feelings. And it was probably, you know, and she was probably going to put it out there that Mel was, you know, messing with her fiancé. And Mel shut that shit down. And in the process of doing so, she told Simone to, you know, pretty much get her Easter egg head ass fiancé up out of her DMs. Keep her nigga up out of her DMs. So at that point, Simone was embarrassed and upset. So she wanted to get on live to address what Mel had said, okay? So she got on live. And going to say, now Melody, why did you go looking to start drama when clearly her Miss Piggy looking ass was the one who was looking to start drama with her unnecessary ass post up under Mel's picture? Nobody was forcing her to call Mel the doctor. You know what I'm saying? Whether Mel put that on her name or not, how was that affecting Simone's life? It wasn't. She just wanted to start some shit. Because she was in her feelings about her catching her nigga in Mel's DMs, in my opinion. She went on to say that uh, she didn't at Mel or make a comment on Mel's page, but on a third party's page. Either way, bitch, okay, your greasy face ass could have kept that comment to yourself. But since you didn't, your ass been getting dragged across social media. 
And you probably somewhere now hiding up under the table like a fucking tornado is about to come through and blow your ass back to wherever the fuck you came from. She said that she stand by what she said. Okay? And that you're not supposed to go around calling yourself a doctor if you didn't earn it. She's entitled to her opinion. But when you take your ass and comment shady shit up under somebody's picture, you looking for drama. And Mel gave her ass some while exposing the fact that, you know what I'm saying, that her nigga was in her DMs. Someone was like, since you want to take it elsewhere, let's be very clear. You know how, what did she say? She was like, you know who I am because your production company wanted to sign me uh, to a production deal for a television show. But I declined because of your professionalism and the professionalism of your business, first of all. What business does Mel have that is not professional? All of her businesses are successful. And the nerve of her to talk about somebody else's professionalism when her overgrown ass, her attorney ass, then got on social media looking for beef because, you know what I'm saying? What she had wasn't enough to keep a nigga out of other women's DMs. So then, y'all, in the words of these young folks, she thought she ate. <laughs> She thought she ate, which means that she thought that she was doing something when she brought up how Mel didn't want to work with, didn't work want to work on her project with Carlos at first, but Andy, from over on Bravo instead. She didn't do shit, cause who the fuck gonna blame Mel for not wanting to work with Carlos? You know what I'm saying? She wouldn't be the only one who didn't want to work with his ass. Bravo fired his ass, didn't didn't they? She thought she was doing something, and then gonna say, "Don't play with me. Play with your kids." First of all, <laughs> girl, she know damn well that if she ever, you know, decided to decline an offer from Mel's company, it wouldn't have shit to do with Mel's professionalism, but everything to do with either her ass being jealous that she don't have a company, okay? And mainly because her man being in Mel's DM. And it's like, secondly, bitch, Mel can go and play with her kids all day, but when she get done, you still gonna be the sorry, pathetic, hating ass, mad ass bitch that you were before she started playing with her kids. And that's another reason why she probably mad at Mel, because Mel got everything she probably feels she deserves, including kids. I'm assuming Simone would like a husband first before she have kids, which is why she was probably, you know, ready to settle for a broke ass nigga, you know, from a dating show. I guess Rashid's broke ass was going to, you know, be Simone's build a man project. That nigga probably didn't want her to begin with, but got with her, okay, because of what she could do for him, which is a prime example as to why it would be in your best interest not to date down because you don't know if they with you, you know, for you or for what you can do for them, okay? That's why y'all don't ever let nobody tell y'all that y'all should settle. For a man that can't do shit for y'all but pay a light bill. Because his broke ass will fuck around and be late with that. And have your ass sit in the dark. Just because he can pay it don't mean he's going to pay the shit on time. You know what I'm saying? I had to throw that in there. Because I'm still not over Tyler Perry giving that advice to black women. Which was a hot topic the other week. In case y'all missed that. Okay? If y'all missed that, go and check out my video from last week. But anyway, y'all. Mel had got back on live, and while she was on there, she addressed Simone's comment about her trying to cast her for a show. And Mel was like, first of all, my company don't cast people, so I had to call my business partner to ask that person if they knew who Simone was because, you know, she was pretty much online saying that we casted her, we wanted to cast her for a show or whatever. So Mel said that she found out that Simone and Simone's people submitted for a show. You know, for Mel's company to produce and shop. But the budget wasn't there. And there was nothing more to that situation. Mel said that she is currently filming a show that is coming to a network. And they came to her with a budget. Okay? They came to her and her team with a budget. She said that she don't go out looking for people to cast, you know, for a show. Because her company doesn't go out doing that. You know what I'm saying? Mel did say that if she uh, wanted to hit her up because... You know, she have a show idea and have a budget. You know, her company can make that happen. So this Simone chick was just lying and felt that she had to come back with something because Mel embarrassed her ass about her nigga being in her DMs. Okay? Mel let her know. 
she let her know that it was never about her being a sore loser because for one, she wasn't in competition with nobody. Simone, on the other hand, probably loves competing with other women and then get mad when she loses. Okay? She probably felt in her mind that, and in her heart or whatever, that she was competing with Mel and lost when she found her nigga in Mel's DM. So now she mad. Now she mad. So she's the loser. She's the sore loser. Bitches like her love flipping shit. They don't want to be seen for the pathetic, hating ass bitches that they are. You can tell that uh, Simone is always competing against other black women and probably stay losing. And I didn't watch the episode of Ready to Love that she was on with Rashid. I've only watched like one season, actually. One season of that show, and I reviewed it. So y'all can go back in time and take a look at that. Um, but I was like, I bet you this bitch was one who made it to the end of the show. Okay? And probably only hung in there and settled with Rashid because she didn't want to feel like she lost to another black woman. Because a bitch like her stay competing with other black women, even if the other black women don't know about it. And as soon as I went to research that shit, she was indeed the bitch that made it to the end of the show. Y'all, what attorney in her right mind want to marry and start a family with a broke nigga? She not going to only have to take care of their kids, but his ass too. They said she knew the nigga was struggling financially. Okay? She just didn't want to lose. She needs to feel that she is better than other black women. And whenever she is hit with reality, that shit hurts her soul. Which is why she probably always downplaying other black women. Because that shit makes her feel better about herself, which is sad. She's a sad, miserable, hating ass bitch. But anyway, Mel wasn't a loser because she wasn't out here competing. Especially with a bitch that she didn't even know. Mel didn't even know who she was, and neither did I, and neither did a lot of people, if you ask me. Because just because you got your desperate ass on a TV show to compete with other women for a man, you know what I'm saying? Because your ass having a hard time finding one that wants to be with your ass, don't mean that you're a celebrity or everybody in the world going to know who you are. Everybody don't look at that shit as in ready to love. Simone comes off as an annoying ass bitch. So it's like, who the fuck would be purposely seeking you out to be on anything other than a therapist's couch? Because your ass got issues, and you need to work on them. You a miserable, hating ass bitch. Bitter ass bitch. And it's not cute, okay? But anyway, y'all. Mel was like, bitch, I didn't even know who the fuck you were. Didn't even know that you came to us and didn't have a budget when you came. So pretty much, in my opinion, it's looking like Simone was the one that was mad about Mel's company declining her line ads since she didn't have no budget but to save face and to try to have a comeback after Mel exposed her bum ass fiance she tried to flip that shit around and had Mel not addressed the situation about that bitch fiance being in her DMs Simone would have tried to flip that shit as well and would have tried to have folks uh, thinking that Mel was messing with her nigga when don't nobody want that broke ass bum not even her so it's like, Simone, girl, stop being a hating ass bitch. Perhaps go and call up Rashid and ask him if you could use his eraser top head ass to erase away your fucking tears. Because we all know, okay, that even though your ass was doing that live in your car, your ass was also in that car crying, okay? Bye, bitch. Log the fuck off and go to bed like I told your ass to do in the first place. And y'all... That's going to be all for this video, okay? Y'all take care, and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.